Good morning everyone and welcome to another day at GSE at Home. My name is Sam and today we're going to talk about what a scientist is. So first of all, I'd like you to grab some paper and some crayons, colouring pens or pencils. When you've done that, I want you to close your eyes and put on your imagination caps nice and tight and crank them all the way up to 11. Now, imagine a scientist. What do they look like and what jobs are they doing? Now, don't tell me what you're imagining. Instead, I'd like you to draw the scientist that you're imagining. Now, you could pause the video just now if you like to give you a chance to draw your scientist. So, what did you draw? Share with us in the comments below. We would love to see your design. To explore this a little bit more, I have a story for us to share together. This story is called Robin and the Robin and was written by the team at Glasgow Science Centre. Now get yourself sitting comfortably and then we'll begin. Robin and the Robin The robins are singing high in the trees. The song carries far on a warm summer breeze. They start nice and early and tweet all day long. And then the night falls and their sing song is gone. The sun says goodbye and gives them a clue so the robins can tell that it's time for a snooze. But there's one little robin that you'll always hear singing long after the sun disappears. Along came a scientist. My name's Robin too. And I work with birds, ones just like you. What's wrong, little robin? The scientist inquired. It's awfully late and you look awfully tired. I am, sighed the robin, I'm too tired to think, but I haven't been sleeping, not even a wink. My wings feel all heavy, too sleepy to flap, but I'm always awake, I just want a nap. Don't worry, said robin, I've got some good news, we can use science to help you to snooze. But you're not a scientist, the robin remarked, they all work in labs, not out here in the park. They wear big white coats and mix things which bubble, but that's not much help with my snuggling struggle. Not quite, said Robin. Some scientists do. Some work in labs, some work in the zoo. Some scientists learn about tiny wee creatures using a microscope to study their features. Some like to think, how did the world start? Or want to find out which animals fart. But how can that help me? The robin did cheap. My problem's not farting, it's trying to sleep. Well, my type of science is all about sleep. I study the rhythm our brains like to keep. I learn about clues that we use in our head, so our body knows the right time for bed. The lights in the city stay on through the night, which means you're confused as it's far, far too bright. These lights are the cause of the sleep that you're losing. They're tricking your brain and stopping you snoozing. So you need to find a new place to stay, where at night it gets dark in a natural way. Away from this town and all its bright light. Somewhere nighttime means nighttime with no lights in sight. Okay, I'll try, said the robin with glee. I'll fly to the woods and find a dark tree. I'll go out of reach of all these bright lights and finally get a well-rested night. So Robin waved to the Robin and they said their goodbyes, happy and smiling as the Robin flew high. And sure enough, the Robin was soon counting sheep, cozied up in the dark, falling fast asleep. It's all thanks to science this problem was solved. Could you be a scientist? Come on, get involved. So what did the Robin learn? Well, he found out the best way to get some sleep thanks to Robin, our scientist. But he also found out that there are lots of different types of scientists. They don't all look like this one. Some of them do work in laboratories, but some of them also work outside. Some of them work in offices. Some of them work as teachers. Uh, there's all sorts of different types of scientists. So what I think you should do this time is to close your eyes, imagine a scientist again, and draw a scientist again, and see if the story changed what you imagine. 
you could maybe even try to find out what other types of scientists there are. And then, if you share with us the designs that you've drawn, we would love to see them. Thank you so much for joining us for another GSC at home. Please do leave any designs in the comments below or any questions and we'll do our best to get back to you. But otherwise, take care and we'll see you soon for another episode of GSC at home.